Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Wandering Village, where our Anmu Nu is currently napping as night draws on across the desert sands, and Katori Village begins to brace as we find ourselves in a desert for the very first time. I am still pretty nervous about this desert because it seems like it goes on and on and on, but we were not able to actually convince Nu to go anywhere else because we still have not built up enough trust with them to be able to go ahead and tell them where to go on the crossroads, which is a huge pity, but hopefully something that we are going to be taking care of. Oh yes, now that the doctor has been constructed, legitimately, immediately, the, the exact thing that I needed to happen. We needed to have a new doctor so that we could actually have someone come over and be able to heal and pet new. We really need to get more people. We still have 35 people. I'm actually keeping track of how many people we have now because I am a little paranoid that people have been dying and I just haven't noticed. <laughs> So I'm still keeping track of them, but let's actually check on how everything is going. I think the carpenter, I can actually disable the carpenter for right now, and I think I can go ahead and disable the stone cutter. And we'll let those two actually get some new jobs because I don't see us building anything new right this second because I want to focus all of our efforts on taking good care of our Anbu. So Kiara is now going to go ahead and become one of the doctors and Umbreon is going to go ahead and become one of the doctors. Oh, what are they grabbing? Oh, they're grabbing the herbs so that we can go ahead and have a little herb supply. And then how are we going on making food? So we have herbalist Amy, oh, who's coming all the way down to the real kitchen. Is that just because you need some food? Oh my gosh, you guys, we're really losing like so much benefit of our villagers being able to get their jobs done because they're walking all the way back and forth to the kitchen and the storehouses in order to grab food. I'm really hoping we'll be able to change that soon because we are actually currently researching a food stand, which will provide food for the villagers in more remote areas. Very, very important if we are wanting to make like any progress at being able to go ahead there we go and feed like oh here we go like like ah yeah like lord of thunder is now headed all the way away from the very important mycologist location <laughs> so that they can go ahead and actually get enough food for, to feed themselves this is definitely putting a damper on our ability to keep up with producing the number of mushrooms the huge quantity of mushrooms that are actually needed in order to feed like new the ombu. We need so many mushrooms. That's kind of our, our desperate rush at this point. All right, so let's see. Oh, and the scavenging party returned with some ancient knowledge. Yes, that makes me so happy. All right, let's go ahead and send them out. All right, what's pretty close? That's only eight hours to that sand dune. So we're gonna go send them out to the sand dune in order to go ahead and collect some more of the glass. And then meanwhile, we are at a very, very far outpost settlement, trying to convince some of the people to come and join Katori village, which is pretty exciting. All right, how's everybody doing? And we're also trying to plant some new things. So we are, so 0% growth on the beets. I don't think the beets, yeah, they go into freezing growth. We need to actually switch to corn and cactus, I think. How are we doing on water? We're not doing terrible on water, but now that I think about it, maybe I should actually start planting some cactus instead. Yeah, let's plant cactuses. Because the cactuses will grow really well in the desert and the cactuses are an emergency source of water so we're gonna get that done do i have any idle villagers so i have two employed idle villagers oh, i'm so tempted to like make the dung not something where i have it being manned right now and the doctor 
Okay, we might go ahead and take people off of both of those things, but I just don't know. How are you supposed to predict when an ombu is going to like leave behind a mountain-sized pile of poo that you need to desperately collect because you're going to like turn that into a essential biogas that will end up destroying a whole bunch of the dangerous toxic spores that lurk in this world. Like you can see some of the toxic spores were in the mountain range and you can actually get caught up in spore clouds that can completely destroy uh, um, your entire, like the ombu, it, it can destroy your entire forest, all your crops, it can infest and make sick all of your villagers. So I'm just really, really nervous about the idea of not having something to be able to fight that. But you know what? All right, fine. I'm going to go ahead and we are going to allow Mountain Climber Machu to potentially find a new temporary job that hopefully they can do. How's our corn? The corn is actually growing very well. Glad to see that. I might get another doctor. Or, yeah, I might get another farmer. I think Machu... Yeah, Machu is actually going to become a farmer for a little bit. Because it might be a good idea to start getting more corn. The beets and berries seem to be doing okay. And I might need some more carriers. And you know what? We'll go ahead and we will disable the doctor for a little bit too. Just because I'm really worried about, like, taking care of everyone. <laughs> Maybe I need some more village elders to kind of, like, speed up our research just a touch. So we can get a lot of the core research we need. Like the food stand and the warehouse and the hunt and the decamp decontaminator all done sooner. It'd be really nice to have a scout tower because it increases the site radius in the world map. And having a little cottage that can have up to four people. Oh, and it offers decent protection from the poisonous air. What? Oh my gosh. That is such an important reason to go ahead and try to get ourselves a little, a little cottage. I didn't know that that's the way it worked. Or else I would have done that a lot sooner. Because having protection from the poisonous air would be wonderful for our villagers. We haven't really been through any poison in quite some time, though. All right, how's the cactus doing? Good. It's always so fun. Oh, what's this? So did we collect some of the dung? Can be processed at a compost heap. We do need to build the compost heap. Have we built everything we need or we can at the moment? Let's see, research building, air well, farm, kitchen, dung collector, the sawmill, which can actually produce wood by mining the giant tree trunks. We haven't put those in yet, though we could if we needed to. We've got a little bit, a, a good quantity of stone and a good quantity of rock at the moment, primarily thanks to how amazing our expedition team has been. I'm kind of like, I would be kind of uh, tempted to go ahead and get more expedition teams for their scavengers <laughs> if we were going to like build anything new because they seem to really bring back some super important pieces. Oh, what's this? Settlers! You've encountered a group of settlers looking for a new home. Of course, we're going to invite them here to Katori Village, where we shall go ahead and bequeath upon them the ancient names of the patrons of our community, of our tribe. And yes, okay, so we have healthy and hungry people who just joined. Sweet, that's four more people. All right, I'm putting that down so I can remember at one point we had 39 people alive because we did lose some people a, a while back. And then we already scavenged that settlement. We'll go out to that quarry. Yeah, see, because I guess two scavenging teams seem to be covering most everything we need. But now I feel a little bit more comfortable to maybe hire another farmer here and then let's see in order to keep all of yeah and then the ombu kitchen herbalist amy is now working her way over to the ombu kitchen the mycologists are already fully employed the problem with the mycologist is that i lose them because they rush off to go get food so i am ecstatic to see when we are actually going to be able to have the research on the food stand finished. So let's hire both of the new people to become builders. Because I think that would be a good idea. And then who do we have here? 
Oh, Bridget! All right. And Bridget, you're one of our new people, and you're actually going to be named after Evie from James, Evie, Ellie, and their grown-ups. And Evie, let me go ahead, and you're going to come in. And we're going to have you be Explore Evie because you are one of our new villagers. And we'll get your siblings added in once I find the newbies as well. We just have to wait until it, because it doesn't really tell you. There's Librarian! Off to go be a good mycologist. There's Kiara. There's Rebecca. There's Lord of Thunder. Oh, what's going on here? An old machine! Arriving at the site, an old stone cutting saw looks like it could still be working. Let's try turning it on. Let's look for anything else left behind by these machines. Let's not touch the ancient ma machine. We came here for stones. An old stone cutting saw looks like it could still be working. Um, Maybe let's look for anything else left behind by these machines. Because we could use a lot of stone, but I'm worried about having my villagers use something so ancient. They look everywhere but can't spot anything of value. At least they leave with a handful of stones. All right, that was probably a risk we could have been a little riskier on, but that's okay. All right, can my scavengers find anything else in this radius? No, and our ombu continues to sleep on. I'm worried that we're going to run out of food for them. <laughs> I, I really am. But we're trying to grow some food. Maybe I should get a second, my, like, but my mycologists I have aren't really, like, doing their job because they're so hungry. They do, like, one little bit of work, and then they're like, oh, man, I'm starving, and they vanish elsewhere. Maybe I should have, like, a farm and a kitchen over here and just, like, have people, like, have a second half of the village they could live in. That might actually be a very good idea. All right, let's see what else we have. Stone mill, it's now day 41. Oh, we're really making it, you guys. Scavenger hut. Let's do some more dirt roads for now. Because it seems clear people are kind of wandering this direction. And I want to try to be mindful of their meandering and give them an easier way to get back and forth. And then we can continue to build more roads. This will be actually pretty exciting if we kind of unite the two halves of like our little world on the back of New, who is just sleeping through all of this too. All right, well, let's carry on. Time passes so quickly as we are here beneath New's watchful eye. Do I have good? I had another farmer that can come and join us to get more corn made. Let's actually switch maybe from berry and moussely in just a second. Once this get fin once this finishes. Oh yes, the food stand's been researched. Okay. Let's get berry moussely. We're going to start making polenta. There we go. And that'll be our new food type now that we're going to have some corn. And we can start going ahead and researching something new. I think we should do the hut. I really do. I think we should maybe start considering the hut. Tomatoes are heat resistant and heat resistant and grow quickly, but they require a lot of water. Oh, but maybe we should do tomatoes if we are starting to enter into the desert. Oh, but we have a good variety of food right now. So how about we go ahead six villagers, six villagers with the hut. That's just awesome. Let's do the hut. I've been putting it off for too long. People need a better house. And now we can finally build the food stand. Oh, I could cry. I'm so relieved. Provides villagers, uh, food for villagers in remote areas. Yes, please. Will my people please stop like meandering so far away from where they need to desperately to be? This is going to be like critical importance. And now we have some doctors. So we can go ahead and pet the ombu! Yes! Oh, the doctors are preparing themselves so that they can go forth and they can pet our ombu. I hear them in there. Oh, this is so cool. Look, and they've got such cute little things behind them. Oh, do I have the ombu trebuchet behind them? No, that's all just the doctor's stuff. They've got, like, pictures of the ombu. They've got a cute little balloon. Are they just going to like get in the little balloon and then go say hello to New? I hear them fiddling around in there. Wow, 
I guess like talking to this foreign entity would actually be super important. Oh my goodness. Am I gonna get that built? I hope so. All right, let's keep going. Meanwhile, we'll gather this mushroom. Let's check if we can see. All right, there's a short heat wave to the south, it seems, but it looks like we might be able to go into the jungle or some nicer forest if we go south. Oh, oh, slow your roll. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> They're off to go pet new. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. They're landing on New's little head so that we can try to declare our intentions of peace and love for our Onbu. That's adorable. Oh geez, and now our Onbu went ahead and pooped. Okay, please staff. Yes, okay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I think I managed to snag that just in time. <gasps> there we go! And a scavenging party just brought back some iron ore. So I'm very sorry to, oh my gosh, <laughs> one of the new villagers. <laughs> All right, we're going to call you Mountain Climber. And this is going to be Mountain Climber James. James, trust me. Even though you now have the job of being the Ambu poop collector, that was actually an exceptionally important role that we desperately needed somebody to do. And he's like, well, I'm just going to go to the kitchen now. Oh, what's happening? Good, so we're in fresh air. Yes, and our Ambu is getting a little bit hungry. I am so worried about that. We've got only one food thing. Oh, and have we built the trebuchet yet to be able to feed our Ambu? Oh, no! I don't think we've done the research for the trebuchet yet. I mean, no, yeah, we did. We did. Okay, so where is it? So, let's see. Where, oh, where is... Oh, there it is! Okay, so we definitely need to build this too. And I knew it! I knew we were going to need to build it somewhere close by. So, we're actually going to stick it right over here. I could not have planned that better if I had legitimately tried harder. <laughs> and we are going to build this trebuchet. I think we might need to go ahead. The place looks unaffected by poison and comfortable for the Ambu to sleep in. Yes, my dear, I'm sorry, but... No sleepy times right now. I think we need more planks. And how many how many stone slabs? Well, maybe not. Maybe we don't need more stone slabs and planks just yet. Unless they're coming, they're gonna be needed for the hut. Let me check. Oh, they're gonna be needed for the hut, okay. Well, it won't hurt to go ahead and at least have a couple of our spares if we have any spares working on that. Um. And I think I can go ahead and actually shut down the dung collector for now. So you'll be free, Mountain Climber James, because I think we don't need the dung collector while I am so desperately... Like, I, I think I could just turn it on in time. <gasps> the food stand is here! Yes! Oh my gosh, but somebody, Mountain Climber James is now moving to the food stand because I think they have to go and get the food. Oh, but maybe all the pieces are coming together. Because now we have the trail being built. And here we have herbalist Amy, who is like working on the Ambu kitchen. Oh, this is very exciting, you guys. I think we're making some real progress in our little village now. All right, there you go, everyone. Good, good. And then what's going on over here? Colleen is busy collecting different different bits and bobs and helping to make sure that everything goes where it belongs. All right, I desperately need my mycologist to stay put and not having to like run all the way down there for food, but I think we have to go ahead and actually get the food stand filled with food. And mountain climber James is currently headed over to the pantry. All right, what are you gonna do in the pantry, James? Also, this tree grew in the middle of my herbs. All right, is that James? Where's James? Is that James? So there's James. Oh, look at that, and he got a whole bunch of the beet soup. So he's carrying the beet soup to the new pantry. We have some builders working on the little path, and it looks like people are using the paths a little bit better. And then how often 
Yay! All right, and then you just have to be patient while you wait. Oh, the Ombo's getting really hungry. Oh, critically important that we finish this like wood plank building, please. And also that we make more food, please. Oh my gosh, I really hope that that gets moving. Maybe once we have a little bit of food here, like my mycologist will stop going so far away. Because I don't think they ever go to their houses. I never see anyone visit the houses. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. And meanwhile, James is just having to like haul bunny hunkers all the way back down here to grab some food for himself and then get more food. He can only carry three at a time. <laughs> Maybe I should build a kitchen and a farm up here, but we need more people for that. Oh, I have five idle people. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, for the scavenger hut. Okay. Okay. Oh, <gasps> forest. Yes. Ambu. Oh, I need a horn bar. Ah. Go, 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 go. Okay. Uh, enable. And then I'm out of people. Oh my gosh, and there's no workers inside the horn blower. Ah! I should have never disabled this. I don't have enough carpenters either. Oh my gosh. All right, let's lower the number. Oh no, no, no. No, help. Lower the number of harvesters. Ambu! I wasn't paying attention and I needed to guide you. Please, um, go to the north. It doesn't trust our commands. <laughs> that's what I get for not paying attention. Oh, that's so bad, you guys. Okay, I think we're going. No! There's a small spore cloud over here, Ambu. We don't want to go over here. <laughs> Please, go the other direction. Oh, you guys. Oh, man. There was like a nice snooze spot, but at least we'll get out of the desert soon. Oh, boy. All right. That's what I get. We need more people. We, we have 39 people, one idol. And that is Liana, and she's currently not employed in doing anything in particular. Um, and these are harvesters. I don't need that many harvesters right now, I don't think. But do I need more builders? I already have all these people working on building to get the trebuchet done. Oh, thank goodness. At least we can manage to pull that much off. Um, I really need like more food and we've got a ton of water over here you know what i am going to go ahead and have a new farm built over here it doesn't even need to be a very big farm i'm just gonna have like a small farm that can hopefully serve some of the community over here along with maybe a kitchen <laughs> like i i think the food stand is a good move it's definitely cheaper well how much has gotten into the food stand but we can't even really keep it like filled at the moment because we have so many people that we need to feed. Oh, but then I might need just like a pantry to store food maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should just build a pantry next to the food stand. But then wouldn't people just eat from the pantry? So why would I need to build a food stand? Well, because that means I have a dedicated worker going back and forth bringing food. Hmm. Don't mind me, friends. Just trying- Oh, the trebuchet is done! Just trying desperately to see like how I can help people do their work. You need two Ombu doctors in order to... Uh-oh, what's going on? Uh-oh, Torrid? Wait, what's happening? Hot weather? Oh man, and the Ombu's uncomfortable? That's why I didn't want to come this way, my dear. Oh boy, all right, so we're so close and yet so far. I need to feed our Ombu. Are our mycologists still walking forever? Moving to the kitchen. Oh my gosh, because I just can't keep this thing filled with food. Oh my gosh. Yes, I am going to have to do something about this. I think I am going to need to get a little farm over here. And I think I am going to need to get like a little kitchen maybe built down here. Even though like I wish I, I didn't have to, I, I think it is going to be a necessity just to kind of keep things going. Or something. All right, I'm going to really have to think about that. All right. And the temperature is increasing. Nobody is working the trebuchet. I'm going to take apart two of the builders. Please. And Explorer Eevee is now about to become the trebuchet operator. Thank goodness. We can feed our ombu, please. Ombu food! We have one ombu food. We need to prepare the trebuchet. 
Unfortunately, because we have to walk into like the forever zone to go and get the food, um, it looks like we have to go ahead and wait. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go ahead and build another farm and another kitchen over on this side. I don't know if it's going to be super useful, but I, I think that this is just going to be a desperate attempt to try to feed our ombu properly. Oh good, and the scavenger crew is back just in time to go to another ruined settlement where, fingers crossed, we're going to be able to go ahead. Oh, there's a spore cloud coming. <gasps> Not good. I need the decontamination. Oh my gosh. Okay, finish that hut. Finish that hut research right now. Elder Jack, Elder David, thank you. They just finished the hut research. We're going to have to go ahead and we are going... I don't have any... Okay, we got to fight the spread of toxic plants. But I don't have any biogas or ombu bile. Ah! Ah! I say. Decontaminator. Kind of need it now. I say. <laughs> Alright, guys! Well, such is life. Uh, oh boy. And we're running out of food much faster now because I don't think we have enough, enough people farming and enough people working here and working there. Okay, that's fine. And you know what? We're not going to need the cactuses very soon. So let's actually switch over to... So beets aren't going to grow. Uh, corn, maybe? Because we're going to be entering into this zone soon. So I guess I could even grow wheat if we needed to. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, there's a lot going on. The scavenging party brought back one knowledge at least. <laughs> Is it knowledge of how to get myself out of this conundrum? Because I think we're getting a little tangled. Let's send them off to the quarry. Phew. And we've almost built the path and who knows what else we are gonna do with all of this chaos. We cannot keep food in here. Poor, poor mountain climber James is just going back and forth as fast as they can. This is chaos. And we're still preparing the food for our ombu. Oh boy, I really hope we can go ahead. Come on, I really need to feed our ombu so we'll have to see if that can happen. But all right, guys, thank you. Oh, we're in a jungle biome now. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this big adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the Ambu Trebuchet, which should be providing it with food shortly here. And if you would like to join us on... What the heck? It just happened that fast. Oh my gosh. And there we go. Oh, and we're walking right into the spore cloud. Oh man, it's getting real now. Oh boy. Well, my friends, I hope you'll join us on our expedition next time as we try to make the most of working our way through a toxic jungle. Oh, those giant piles of bones in the background are not a ringing endorsement of hope. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Ah, bye-bye!